just for you and just for you. Hey, YouTubers, Wilson Guzman said, hey, Ken, I want a treat to lunch. So today's lunch is brought to you by Wilson Guzman. Thanks, buddy. Hey, YouTubers, it's Ken from KBD Productions TV. Welcome back to another Ken Domic food review just for you and just for you. I am here in Bradford, Ontario once again without my seatbelt on because you guys don't want me to wear a seatbelt when I'm in the drive-thru. And I am gonna do this pulled pork poutine. Oh my goodness. And we're gonna do all three sauces. Welcome to Wendy's. Would you like to try our pulled pork today? Yes, I would, please. Okay, would you like to try the sandwich or a cheeseburger pulled pork? Could I do a poutine? Pulled pork poutine with the three and the three different sauces on the side? No problem, Ken. Awesome, thanks, Dan. Can I say anything else? That would be it, thank you. And do you want to donate two dollars to the Dave Thomas Foundation for Adoption and receive a Halloween coupon book? Of course I would. Thank you. So your total is 977. Drive up to the second window. Thank you. You're welcome. Alright. So I was gonna use change, but I don't have enough. So I'm gonna to have to go down to the floor and get my wallet. I'll be right back. Hello. How you doing, Karen? Good, thanks. How about you? All right. Halloween booklet. Okay, thank you. All right, have a good day. You too. Bye. All right, ladies and gentlemen, let's park it. We are parked. We've got the bill and it was 977. We've got our straw. We've got our drink. We've got a knife. We've got the three sauces. We've got smoky. We've got spicy. And the other words on there, people, my American friends, is French. Because in Canada, we have to have labels of both things. And we've got a fork. I don't usually ever, I don't think I've ever used a knife. But they're making sure that I got everything. Because they are rocking. All right, ladies and gentlemen, let's take a whiff of this pulled pork poutine. Like I said in my vlog last week, I said, depending on where you live in Canada, it depends on how you say poutine. So a lot of Ontarians, Ontarians say poutine, as in poo and teen. But if you're a Quebecer, you say poutine. I'm pretty sure. Correct me if I'm wrong, and I know you will. Okay, right now it just smells amazing. Uh, a lot of you who have been following me a really long time have asked me to do a lot of pulled pork things, and I don't like pulled pork when it's already in some type of a sauce, and then you put it on a bun, and then the bun absorbs all the sauce, and it's sweet and icky, and I don't like it. So this time, uh, I talked to the manager here named Dan, and he says they're gonna have three different sauces, and I don't know which sauce is gonna be my favorite, and I want you guys to leave me a comment in the comment section below as to what is going to be our best sauce. So we're gonna try this pulled pork poutine without a sauce to start her off, because I'm actually thinking that it might actually taste good without the sauce. So, for all my non-Canadian friends, poutine is French fries, cheese curds, which is basically solids, I think milk solids from uh, white cheddar cheese. So it's completely different than any cheese you've ever ever tasted. And then they pour gravy all over top of it and it melts the cheese curds a little bit and a fresh cheese curd should squeak in your mouth. It tastes exactly like a cheese curd. It's not bad, but it didn't squeak. If they're fresh cheese curds, when you live out uh, in, in the east of Canada, you get fresh cheese curds. As you bite it, it squeaks on your teeth. So that's how that's how you can tell if it's a fresh cheese curd. But they still taste the same, whether they're fresh or not. I'm not sure if I'm going to like the onion on it. Okay, here we go, ladies and gentlemen. Let's give this a shot. I got all three things right off the top. Look at that. Oh, ho, ho, ho. oh my goodness. Here we go. That tastes really good so far without 
So the pulled pork itself, guys, that is the best pulled pork, pulled pork that I have ever tasted in my life. I am not joking. Because there's no sauces on it, it's just pulled pork with seasonings and whatever. I could totally eat that on a sandwich, no problem. So I, I will come back and try the pulled pork on a sandwich without any sauce, for sure. It would make a, a burger or a chicken burger or whatever taste amazing. The onions obviously are, are crisp and fresh. I find uh, the purple onions very strong. So hopefully it will add to this flavor. Okay, let's go in for another quick bite before I add a sauce. Because I'm, I'm afraid that the sauce is going to ruin it. Okay, here we go. One more time, ladies and gentlemen. This is for all your one o'clock in the morning people that decide to watch this at one o'clock in the morning. Mmm. French fries, cheese curds, gravy, pulled pork, onions. Wow. Holy cow. That's good. Okay. I'm afraid to put the sauce on it. I really am. Look at this. Try the pulled pork routine today. I did. Thank you. And then they have the, the pulled pork sandwich and the pulled pork cheeseburger. So they have just the pulled pork sandwich and then they also have the cheeseburger with pulled pork on it. So you know what I'll do, guys? Because it's only a limited time and I need a Friday video. If I get 2,500 thumbs up on this video... I will come back here Friday and do the pulled pork cheeseburger. What do you think about that? Thumbs up now. Ding, 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 ding. And that's what we'll do. Okay, let's get into, let's do sweet first. I'm going to do a little taste test first. It tastes like this sweet barbecue sauce. So I'm going to put a bit on my fork. Because like I said, if I pour this all over my poutine and then I don't like it, I'll be very disappointed. Okay, so I've got some um, sweet on my fork. And I'm going to grab some of everything if I can. Look, oh, ho, 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 ho. that looks good. Okay, let's give it a shot. It's okay. That is kind of, I'm going to turn these over, make sure I don't forget what I'm saying. The sweet is kind of like I've all the different types of uh, pulled pork I've ever had. So this one is the spicy. I'm going to go for a lot. There's nowhere to put the stuff. Ugh. Okay. So this is the spicy. We're going to go again, try to get as much of this stuff as possible. Oh my. The longer I sit here and wait and talk and... The, the more cheese curds melt and you get that stringy stuff. Mmm. The same sweet taste, but it's hot. Ah! Okay, this is smoky. Let's dip into the smoky. Oh, don't you drip on me. I'll be disappointed. It just took off down my seat. Okay, guys. I'm going to put the smoky into this spot right here. Oh, I got a lot in that one. Don't like the smoky. I apologize to all my, my fans who really trust my, my taste. Um, but I'm just, I don't know what it is about certain barbecue sauces. And I have this across the board. Every place I've ever been, certain barbecue sauces just don't agree with me. And I'm not sure why the tanginess on top of, it's good when it's, when you barbecue it, it's like you put it on your, bar, on your burger and you actually barbecue it onto the burger. But to pour it on afterwards and bite it, eh, there's just something about it. I don't know. If you can explain it to me, if you understand what I'm talking about. That would be good. So at this point in time, ladies and gentlemen, I would do the spicy. I hope I didn't mix them up. So this is the spicy. I'm going to put some more on this side. Mm. Ooh la la. That's a Sebastian meatball. 
Jim Carrey, you gotta love him. But at this point, late babies and gentlemen. Okay, babies and gentlemen. At this point in time, the pulled pork poutine without any sauce is my number one favorite. Mmm. That is so good as it is. I'm just gonna do it one more time. Just to triple check, make sure. So I actually put sauce all over it in one huge fry. My recommendation for you, you know what? We're gonna eat this up and then I'm gonna come back with my recommendation. I think you already know what it is. All right, ladies and gentlemen. So we are gonna polish this off just for you and just for you. So hang on. Well, there you go, ladies and gentlemen, two points for Ken. All right, so on my rating scale, guys, I'm going to give the pulled pork poutine from Wendy's a go out and get it now because it was really, really good. As for the sauces, uh, it would have to be the spicy. I didn't close it right, and I almost picked it up wrong. So the spicy is the best out of the three sauces. Uh, sweet is definitely not, well, I, you know, the sweet, the sweet and the sour, or sorry, the sweet and the smoked, I didn't like either of those sauces, they're just not my, my flavor, I don't like that flavor, tanginess, whatever, but the spicy is good, although it has a, a bit of a, a sweet, um, tangy flavor too, it has the spice, which helps me like it more than the other two, so that's my recommendation if you're actually to say, Ken, which other three spice, three sauces would you put on your poutine, and it would be the spicy one, but it is hot, so careful with that, if your, if your uh, Wendy's location allows it, ask them for all three and try it, because, because you just don't know until you try them all. But uh, my recommendation would be the spicy. Actually, my 100% recommendation is don't put any sauces on it whatsoever. That's just my recommendation. Uh, I just wanted to go over the bill again. Uh, it was $2 for the, the coupon book, which is absolutely a great idea because uh, you get your money's back, your money back triple or quadruple. So, all right, guys. So don't forget to give me a thumbs up. Ding, 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 ding. And I will come back here Friday and do the pulled pork cheeseburger. And we'll add bacon to it too. Just to make it outrageously crazy. That's the way you like it, I know. All right, guys. Thanks for watching Ken Domic's Food, Review Food Reviews. Ken Domic out. Boop. Hey. <laughs> <Ugh>. <laughs> Hey YouTubers, it's Ken from KBD Productions TV. Welcome back to another Ken Dominic Food Review. Ah! Oh, Wendy. What you doing? <laughs> Raggy? Whoa, dude. How's that for noises? And I did that on my second throw. Back off. I'm all about that bass. About that bass. All right, guys. Talk to you later. Bye.